Our planet Earth holds a secret, a secret so profound that it has fascinated scientists and explorers for centuries. Deep within its core lies a treasure of unimaginable proportions, a treasure that has shaped the very fabric of our planet. This treasure is not a mythical artifact or a lost civilization. It is gold, the precious metal that has driven human ambition and exploration for millennia. Imagine a layer of gold shimmering and pure covering the entire surface of Earth. This layer would be thick enough to reach your knees. This layer would be thick enough to reach your knees. Such a vast amount of gold is almost beyond comprehension. This is the scale of the gold hidden within our planet's heart. It is a treasure that has been locked away for billions of years. This incredible amount of gold is not a recent discovery. Scientists have long suspected its existence, piecing together clues from geological surveys and rock samples. Scientists have long suspected its existence. However, the sheer scale of this hidden treasure continues to amaze and intrigue us. However, the sheer scale of this hidden treasure continues to amaze and intrigue us. How did so much gold end up trapped within Earth's core? How did so much gold end up trapped within Earth's core? To understand this, we must journey to the center of our planet where the answers lie hidden in the depths. To understand this, we must journey to the center of our planet. Only then can we uncover the mysteries of Earth's hidden treasure. Our journey begins with Earth's structure a fascinating and complex system that has intrigued scientists for centuries. Earth is not a solid uniform sphere. Instead, it is composed of multiple layers, each with unique characteristics and compositions. It is made of distinct layers, each with its own composition and properties. These layers include the crust, the mantle, and the core. The outermost layer is the crust, the solid ground on which we live. It is relatively thin compared to the other layers, but it is incredibly important for life on Earth. Beneath the crust lies the mantle, a thick layer of hot, dense rock. The mantle extends to a depth of about 2,900 kilometers and is responsible for much of the Earth's geothermal activity. Deeper still, we encounter the core, which is divided into two distinct parts. The core is divided into two parts, the outer core and the inner core. The outer core is a liquid layer, while the inner core is solid. The outer core is a liquid layer of iron and nickel. This layer is crucial for generating Earth's magnetic field, which protects us from harmful solar radiation. The inner core, at the very center of Earth, is a solid ball of iron and nickel. Despite the extreme temperatures, the immense pressure keeps it in a solid state. This is where we find the majority of Earth's hidden gold along with other precious metals. The journey to the center of the Earth reveals a world of wonder and complexity beneath our feet. Gold has a special affinity for iron. This means that gold atoms are naturally attracted to iron atoms. This attraction played a crucial role in the formation of Earth and the distribution of its gold. Billions of years ago, Earth was a molten ball of rock and metal. As Earth cooled, the heavier elements, like iron, sank towards the center. Gold, drawn to the iron, followed suit. This process concentrated vast amounts of gold in the Earth's core. The remaining gold, scattered throughout the Earth's crust, is a mere fraction of the total amount. Directly studying Earth's core is impossible. The intense heat and pressure make it unreachable with current technology. However, scientists have developed ingenious methods to study the core indirectly. One such method is seismology. Seismology is the study of earthquakes and the waves they generate. 
These waves, called seismic waves, travel through Earth's interior. By studying how these waves travel and change speed, scientists can infer the composition of the different layers, including the core. Section 5. When Worlds Collide Earth's Formation and Gold Distribution Earth's formation was a violent and chaotic process. Over millions of years, our planet grew from a swirling cloud of dust and gas. This process involved countless collisions with asteroids, comets, and other celestial bodies. These collisions played a significant role in Earth's composition, including the distribution of gold. Some scientists believe that a significant portion of Earth's gold was delivered by a single massive impact with a Mars-sized object. This impact would have melted Earth's surface and deposited vast amounts of gold, which then sank to the core. Section 6 The Unreachable Gold Challenges and Considerations the gold in Earth's core is, for all practical purposes, unreachable. The challenges of reaching the core are immense. The depth, the extreme heat, and the immense pressure make it an incredibly hostile environment. Even if we could reach the core, extracting the gold would be another monumental challenge. Furthermore, extracting such a vast amount of gold would have unpredictable consequences for our planet. It could destabilize Earth's structure, disrupt its magnetic field, or have other unforeseen effects. Therefore, the gold in Earth's core remains a tantalizing but inaccessible treasure. Section 7 The Allure of Abundance Gold's Enduring Value Throughout history, gold has captivated humanity. Its rarity, beauty, and durability have made it a symbol of wealth, power, and divinity. From ancient civilizations to modern societies, gold has played a central role in our cultures and economies. The knowledge that Earth harbors a vast, hidden reserve of gold only adds to its allure. It reminds us of the immense power and mystery of the natural world. While we may never possess the gold in Earth's core, its existence sparks our imagination and fuels our fascination with the unknown. Section 8 The Ethical Dilemma To Mine or Not to Mine The idea of mining Earth's core for gold raises ethical questions. It's not just about the potential wealth that could be generated, but also about the moral implications of such an endeavor. Should we, even if we could, exploit such a vast resource? The untouched beauty of our planet is at stake. What would be the environmental consequences? The deforestation, the pollution of rivers, and the disruption of wildlife habitats are just a few of the potential impacts. Would such an endeavor benefit all of humanity or only a select few? The disparity between those who gain and those who lose could widen. These questions highlight the complex relationship between humanity and our planet. Our actions today will shape the world of tomorrow. As we continue to advance technologically, we must consider the ethical and environmental implications of our actions. The balance between progress and preservation is delicate. The pursuit of resources, no matter how alluring, should not come at the cost of our planet's health or our shared future. We must strive for sustainable solutions that respect both our environment and the generations to come. Section nine, treasures yet unknown. Earth's unexplored riches, the vast reserves of gold in Earth's core, are a testament to the hidden riches our planet holds. 
as we continue to explore and understand our world, we will undoubtedly uncover more secrets and marvels. These discoveries may not always be in the form of precious metals. They may be new forms of energy, new sources of food, or new understandings of life itself. The true treasure lies in our continued pursuit of knowledge and our commitment to using that knowledge for the betterment of humanity and our planet.